I think the most important thing about abs pops, like if you're asking about, asking about a standard abs pop, is the entry pad thing, which I think a lot of people get wrong. Because you can piece together an abs pop however you want. If you want to smoke moto, you can do that. You can throw a fast blooming wagon smoke without a moto smoke. You can do that too. You can flash over sight. You can just throw flim chimney flashes. Like, you can really piece together an abs pop and it'll still work out. You can just dry swing out abs if you want it. It'll still work out if you get like the entry pathing down really well. So like, how the entry pathing should go for an abs pop. So, I don't know if you guys saw in the stream, but my our coach Liger, really fucking smart dude. He was talking about entry pathing for most sites and how it's like usually like a two and a, a one entry pathing. So you have like a duo who like clears the same thing, like who will hard clear the same shit. They both come up. First guy's pretty much destined to die. He's just swinging wide. Second guy's there to trade. And then you have a third person who's set to clear everything else that they're not fighting, right? That's usually how you entry for most sites. I would say apps is an exception though, depending on how you do it. Because apps, the first guy and the second guy aren't, swinging to clear the same thing the first guy is actually a diversion and he's there to draw the the cross the crosshairs of everyone else on the site so what this is how i've seen gambit run it well now c9 but old gambit this is how i've seen them run their abs pop and I, this is how i kind of like like destruction of my team so when you go for an abs pop first guy comes here clears close mouth make sure no one's here and then he comes out jumps here to mini pit and he drops down and takes the fight in mini pit all right usually because you're gonna have a guy sitting in mini pit watching the like the drop out from ass pops and you can just get right behind him and just fuck just fuck him up you can just dick on his face and just shit on him you know you land here kill this guy and then you can come swing uh big pit all right the the benefit of this guy coming out first and doing that is that anyone who's watching this sees him jump out and they're like boom 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 shooting you know and they have to they have to track his crosshair right they have to track his cross their crosshair on him and that's just pulling their crosshair away from everyone else who's apps not allowing them to multi-kill okay this is why like a lot of apps have to go wrong because people swing wrong. So the first guy comes out, he's the diversion, jumping mini pit. Second guy, a lot of people think you should swing sight. He's, he's not swinging sight. Second guy is coming here and hard clearing Balk. And the reason for this is because Balk is a really dangerous angle against apps pops. And also if this second guy comes to swing sight and he sees someone there, he's stopping and taking the fight and this is clogging up everyone else behind him. Because right, he's swinging out. Oh shit, he's fighting and now these guys are all stuck behind him and now the guy Balk is just gonna peek and just multi-kill everyone because this guy decided to stop and take a fight. So he's actually coming out back to sight and hard clearing Balk. And then once it's clear, he's coming and swinging pit. He's not even worried about sight. Third guy comes out, swings sight and just wide swing it like wide as fuck. And then the fourth come out and then you can start jumping out and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But biggest thing is just to have like the first guy come out, be the diversion, jump to mini pit. Second guy, hard clear Balk. Don't peek sight, third guy peek sight and it's just to make space same goes for like if you're hitting a site like if you're entering you should like not clear something so like how i always saw is like the entry should just hard clear mini pit because if this entry was to like fight site if he takes a fight here it's just clogging up everyone else behind him whereas mini pit is the wider angle to swing so if he swings here if someone was sight they're shooting at him and because he's swinging so wide they have to track him and then the other guy can just swing from close and peek the guy cold so usually want your entries just swinging the angle that's kind of farther away and then just letting them die if they need to die and then the other people trade out because like i said if they were to take the fight here if the entry was a hard swing site he's gonna end up stopping here to take the fight and it's gonna clog up everyone behind him so he would just come here swing mini pit so same thing for apps don't swing sight swing bow and then you could come here swing pit and then jump out and you guys fight pit together uh, and then when it comes to util there's several ways to do it you can throw like a fast blooming uh wagon smoke so on mexi come here aim at the end of that black line jump throw this is gonna land on the wagon and like insta blooms and the people can jump out you could do this you could also from the same position have someone mexi smoke moto and then he jumps up flash over sight and then you get like flash over apps or something usually for all apps pops you're gonna want to have some guy throwing the chimney flashes these are like kind of essential and then he goes yeah just flashes over sight moto smoke like some pretty basic stuff 